Hi guys, so today I'm in St. Martin, which I had to do some research on it because I know nothing about this island either. St. Martin is owned by the Netherlands, so it's kind of Dutch. It's also owned by the French, so it has two parts. And so we'll be doing an island tour today, and I'll be showing you. It's actually smaller than Grenada, which is what I'm used to, which is also small in my opinion, so I can't imagine something smaller. But it's really interesting. So we'll be doing an island tour. We might be going to both parts. I don't know what the tour like has going, so we'll see what we see today. So we're walking into town now, as you can see, I'm walking backwards. So I'm pretty sure we have to kind of like walk through here to like actually like find a taxi or anything because we didn't sign up for like a short excursion or anything. Um, so we're just walking. That's our boat in the background. So we're just trying to figure out where to go. There's pretty much nowhere to go back there. So we're just kind of following the crowd. It's getting loud because we're by these drums, but yeah. Okay, so my family decided to do a Jeep tour. So we're renting that one dune buggy out but it only holds six of us and so then the rest of us are gonna get a jeep wrangler and they're gonna take the top off so i'll probably just switch riding between the two and then we have an actual tour guide him right there and he's gonna be doing a tour so yeah so my sisters are getting in a dune buggy right now are you coming in a jeep miss rochelle okay yes they are riding with wait so right now he's already planned us out a tour to go to a few beaches a few points the beach where you can see the airport we're gonna go on the dutch and the netherlands on the dutch and the french side um and then you can see all my siblings back there in the dune buggy so yeah getting ready to go now i'm in the jeep with chris and my dad in this question. So we got to our first destination where it is kind of like rocky beach area there's like something up there that you can stand on and there's a sandbar that you can walk out on that i really want to walk out on so i think me and my sister are about to go do that or at least one of them so yeah about to walk out here so it's more of like a rock sandbar than like a sand sandbar and as you can see it's a lot of rock I know it's like rocks. On these rocks, yes? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So let's see if I can make it over. These probably are so slippy. Ew. I don't like things on my feet. But it's super shallow. Let's see. We're gonna walk on over. So we stopped at this place and it's like 50 million iguanas and you can like feed them and everything. Oh, this is weird. I want to feed one. Sorry. That's okay. Oh my God. Oh, no. Oh, wow. So aggressive. Huh?
Saint-Ger pour faire des créations belles et originales. La machine à coudre Saint-Ger, socle équipé d'un moteur puissant. So now we just pour pour to this new beach. Et ça va être très intéressant. Et il y a beaucoup de cars parked out here. Et il y a un bar. Well, JK, I didn't think about that. You cannot like record a new beach, says my older brother. But that's also kind of like pornography. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not recording that. Well, I'm facing this way. I can't record out here, but just know we're at a new beach. Okay, I can for sure record where we are. Ouch! Why does this keep falling out of my bag? It doesn't want to sit. I'm trying to put it in here. Oh, you got something on. We've come to like this little strip of a town and we're going to eat. Also, my older sister needs to be on a conference call, so we're going to stay here for a bit. Those little places to eat over here. See, yours is doing it too. Our water bottles keep committing suicide. There's right here, it's like a bar and it's tapas, which is cool because then you get to taste everything. But you know, we're walking. Um, there's this restaurant kind of bar right here, and I see an ice cream place on down, but it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, so we're just walking. So this one's called Lolo Bar and Restaurant. Oh, you like me? No, okay, here you go. Here is what we're eating called Sky's the Limit. So there's a bunch of stuff. Um, I know our tour guide has said there's every kind of seafood here. You're welcome. They have all types of chicken and Shrimp, shrimp ribs, zero. It says, but it, but it said one per one on the sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, what you see. Uh, I like the personality, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They have like a cool can, but. Okay. I thought we were waiting for gas. That's Dutch side and we're going to the airport where it's like it's a beach where you can get right up on the um right near the airport and you can see the planes taking off and coming in so apparently it's like famous on YouTube because it's like the wind from the planes like blows people and so we're back on the Dutch side I think I said that so we're almost to the airport now and then I'm pretty sure we'll be stopping to get out soon
it's about to come right over. to go watch this one take off so we're walking over so we're not by this fence and you can actually see it it's really loud out here so yeah anyways we're walking so this is the beach right across What they're known for is you can feel the blast as the sign says right here so it says danger jet blast a departing and arriving aircraft can cause severe physical harm resulting in extreme bodily harm or and or death so basically when these like gigantic flights leave like this delta flight where is it where is it i can't even see it in my video that delta flight that's coming this way when it leaves they're so big that you can feel like the blast so Hopefully I don't get blown away. I know I'm not going to. I'm being dramatic. But we're about to show it as it gets ready to leave. Right when they're getting ready to take off. So let me turn it around. So it's, you know, it comes down to the end of the runway. And then it's going to turn because it's, I mean, it's about to get ready to take off. Stop because I came over here. It's a cute. Hi. Hey, DT, you got too close to our baby. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the port basically. I don't know if you can see the top of the cruise over here. So I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you enjoy. This is the last of my cruise excursions, so hopefully, you see all of them. And yeah. I'll be making some other videos this summer and stuff with some of the other places I travel, but no we'll be out the country until I get back to Grenada in the fall. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and share my channel. All that jazz. Maybe you'll take a Royal Caribbean cruise. Maybe you'll come visit St. Martin or any of the other places that I show. But anyway, thanks.